Good day everyone, this is Mihao from the Wonderware Online team and uh, in today's short video uh, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use when saving content to, uh, to save it in two different modes that will be useful depending on what you're trying to do with it. So you're either trying to save content so that it's a specific point in time, you're looking maybe some root cause analysis, maybe something happened in your house, something blew up in your factory, you're analyzing it and, and that's, a, that's one scenario. The, the more common scenario is probably where you're monitoring things on a, on a routine basis and you're setting up some regular monitoring uh, reports and, and dashboards. So let's just go through it. This won't be uh, complicated at all. What we're looking at here is a little bit of uh, weather air pressure from uh, Wilmington, USA. And uh, over here we had a, a unusually low value for this period of time. So uh, what we can do uh, what we can do with this uh, chart, let me just switch it into hectopascal mode so it's a little bit clearer to see on this scale. Okay, um, what we want to do here is say, wow, something strange happened. I want to fix this in time and I want to share it with Bob. Bob is my expert. He's my uh, expert for everything. and I want to make sure that he sees this. So what, what I want to do is I want to say, okay, Wilmington, low pressure uh, normally for Bob, just to be very, very explicit here. And let me give it a keyword so we can find it later. So, okay, here, this is the important part. See this button here? You want to click on this and you want to say fixed dates. And what that will do is that it will fix that content in time so that it always loads from the 2nd of September, 2016. So let's go ahead and save that. And, uh, and now I can obviously go ahead and, and share it with uh, you know, send the, the link to Bob and, and he can have a look at it and, and do whatever he likes. But then the second thing that we probably want to do is to, to monitor for this situation to, to make sure that it doesn't happen again or if it does start happening again that we, we can take some corrective actions. So more than likely what we want to do is to set up a, a piece of content that, that monitors this tag on an ongoing basis. So let's say maybe for today or the last three days so that we have a little bit of context. Uh, let's uh, let's add ourselves a limit line just so that we can let's say whenever we drop below a thousand give me a low pressure okay there we go and now we're going to save this as a, a as a standard piece of content that's going to appear on our dashboard so it's no longer for Bob yeah we'll keep that same keyword okay and again, very important, this time you want to select latest. And this is the default setting for, uh, for most reports. You want to select latest. And what that will do is that it will load the time frame relative from the time that you're loading the content. So if you say last three days, it's always the last three days from the time that you're loading the content. Now let's go ahead and save that. And, uh, and that's it. That's uh, done and dusted. We can find our two pieces of content uh, and have a, a quick look at the, the two two pieces. Uh, looks exactly the same. Uh, one was saved, uh, fixed at a specific point in time, which means if I, if we loaded this dashboard in 12 months time, this tile would still look exactly the same. Whereas this one here was saved with relative time and it'll always show you the last three days worth of data, uh, no matter when you load it. So that's it. Pretty straightforward, but uh, a useful little hint, so keep that in mind.